Nvidia is currently hard at work, planning and testing out their brand new GPUs said to be called GeForce RTX 4000 with the RTX 4090, the 4080 as well as the 4070, rumored to be the first three cars to be released starting in September or possibly August. The question is though, should you hold your breath for Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4000 or should you pick up a graphics card right now and be happy? In today's video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4000, such as specifications, price, performance, as well as release date, and whether you should wait or not. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you're into affordable gaming PC builds, remember to tap the red subscribe button and let me know, are you excited for a new generation of GPUs, hopefully without stock supply issues and inflated pricing? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's kick things off with probably the one question most of you guys are currently wondering, should you wait for Nvidia's new 4000 series graphics cards or should you buy your graphics card right now? The answer is pretty simple. If you're looking to upgrade your current gaming PC with a high-end GPU and you have a budget to spend between 500 to $1500, the simple answer is yes. You might want to consider waiting, but there is a catch if you're already sitting on a mainstream GPU such as the RX 6600 or an RTX 3060 or anything below and you're expecting a $300 to $400 GPU by the end of the summer, you don't want to hold your breath because if these rumors turn out to be true, there may not be a mid-tier GPU available this year at all. Now, since I know most of you guys are here to build cheap and affordable gaming PCs, Nvidia's GPU launch this fall might be a bit of a disappointment if the rumors are accurate. But with that said, let's take a look at the UC rumors and let's kick things off with the release schedule. Video cards are presenting the rumors, which originates from a guy called Copite7Kimi, which have been a reliable source multiple times before. Now, the RTX 40 series is currently rumored to debut in mid July of 2022, which means that the actual launch may take place in August of 2022. But there is a catch here because we don't know if this is a full on lineup or if it's just a single graphics card launch. Now, according to Copite 7 Kimi, Nvidia is rolling out the RTX 4090 first, and then following up with the 4080, and then the 4070. This would suggest that Nvidia is replicating the GeForce RTX 30 series launch. Back then, Nvidia announced three GPUs. It was the 3090, the 3080, and the 3070. And all three cards were announced on the same day. However, the launch took place a few weeks apart from each other. They started with the RTX 3080, and then followed up with the RTX 3090, and then the 3070. What is important to have in mind is that we actually had to wait several months for the mainstream lineup of cards, such as the RTX 3060, to enter the market. And so if these rumors turn out to be true, we might have to wait for a possible RTX 4060 until sometimes in 2023. Now, in terms of specifications for the RTX 4090, the 4080, and the 4070, here is what the latest rumors are suggesting. The flagship model, the RTX 4090, would feature AD102 GPU, whereas the RTX 4080 might house the AD103. Now, the biggest update with this new type of card stand against previous generation is that all these new cards will utilize PCIe Gen 5 and all GPUs will use a 16 pin power connector and higher TDP of each series up to 600 watt for the RTX 4090. And so, in other words, a lot of heat that needs to be dissipated, so we're definitely gonna see a massive cooler for the RTX 4090. Now, Copite has also been sharing some interesting internal configuration. The new architecture would feature much larger L2 cache and higher amount of cores. Now, you might be thinking, yo, Robin, these numbers are pretty impressive, but it doesn't give me any idea how these new GPUs will perform. 
Now to answer that, WCCF Tech actually made a simple graph showing the FP32 performance, showing the possible performance we can expect with these new GPUs. Now it is worth noting guys that this graph doesn't necessarily reflect the graphics or gaming performance, but it does give us an idea of the actual raw performance and the actual power of these new GPUs. Now let me know in the comments below, do you think Nvidia's new RTX 4070 could be almost twice as powerful as the current 3070? Regardless, pretty interesting details nonetheless. Finally guys, in terms of pricing, we expect the RTX 4090 to cost about $1500. The 4080 would cost $700 and the 4070 would cost $500. Again, if you plan on picking up a mid-range GPU, you might be better off picking up a current gen GPU right now, as it does seem like Nvidia is holding back on the entry and mid-tier lineup of GPUs towards the end of the year or perhaps until 2023.